so this is, I hear this story all the time. Um, and the story is, I've been playing the guitar for X number of years. Yeah, I've gotten pretty good at it. I can play a lot of songs. I can improvise some solos. I play in a rock band. Things are okay. And about three years ago, I learned this thing called the pentatonic scale. And someone said, hey, this is all you need for rock. Learn this scale. And I did, and I can play it in any position. I can play it really fast, and it sounds pretty good. But I wanted to learn more. I wanted to add more vocabulary to my playing. I felt like my playing was kind of getting same. And I learned about this thing called the major scale. So I learned it. But every time I try to play it over music, it just it just doesn't it just doesn't sound right. It clashes. It doesn't fit. And I just wind up going right back to the pentatonic because I know it's going to work. How do I bridge that gap? Because when we, I look online to learn how to do that, everyone's like, "Well, you just need to know the root of the chord you're under, and the further than the fifth of this chord is your second root, and the major third of this fifth, and." You know, pretty soon it gets really confusing as to what they're talking about. And most of us, it's pretty hard to hear what chord is in the backing track, know what the root of that chord is, and then play it in real time in a solo. I, I, I might be able to. I never thought about it. So I'm going to give a few pointers on how to play the major scale while avoiding clashes. So everything here is going to be in C major and the C major pentatonic we're going to play this shape here there are these notes and that sounds fine that sounds great. Uh, the major scale adds three more notes. And then lower it. So that's the only difference. Now these notes that you've added You can't just, they don't work like the pentatonic. I can play this note. Anywhere over that backing track, it's going to work just fine. It's in the pentatonic. However, this note. There's a lot of the song that just note doesn't sound very good. Same with this one. drifts in and out of sounding great. Same with this one. So the easiest way to be able to play major scale to get the flavor of the major scale, because it's a different flavor, it's, it's, it's nice, instead of you get It's a, it's a different sound. But you'll notice you don't want to, you want to be able to get off of the new notes quickly. Sometimes they work great and you want to accentuate them. But that takes practice. I mean, you can learn to know all the chords in the backing track and know exactly when that note's going to sound great. I don't have that kind of musical knowledge. So when I'm using that note, if it sounds good, I'll let it hang. But if it doesn't, I'll quickly go to the note next to it. So 
the notes, the, the major notes that are not in the pentatonic were this one. I mean, sorry. And I, I very briefly touched them. I did not hang on those notes. So what I'll do is... So that's the easiest way I can tell people, hey, this is how to most easily use a major scale. Recognize which notes are not pentatonic and are not going to fit over every chord progression. I promise as you start doing this more and more, you don't fear those notes because you know, heck, you know, it's just for flavor. You get off that note. It doesn't have to match the chord behind it if you're not hanging on it. And once you get comfortable with them, you'll learn when. When you can really drill on them. And that way you don't really have to understand a whole lot of musical theory to play the major scale. That's my take on things. Hope it helps.